okay people so today we have a tutorial about engraving aluminum without a level and bcnc bcnc is a free program that you can get off github <coughs> first thing is open your g-code and align it properly with the router this used to be this is the center of my case here so it's aligned uh, so the first thing you need to go to probe but before you do that now you go to probe auto level and there's a button up here that says margins you hit that button margins and they get copied here from the g-code okay this is the resolution we're gonna leave it to 5 because I have a pretty flat surface it's very useful though to use auto level when you're engraving metal and you have very thin lines <coughs> that will help uh, make a better result okay so now let's put some power in this thing and maybe plug it to some outlet it would be a good idea okay power is on so this is the ground that's connected to the tip and there's at the back there's an aluminum foil that connects the case as they touch <coughs> it's gonna measure the surface and it's gonna use that during the engraving process so now that we got the margins let's move the gantry up by one millimeter Okay, so now auto level, there's a button here that says scan. We're gonna scan until a depth of minus 0.1 and the safe Z that's gonna lift the probe, it's gonna be 1.0, probe feed is 30 here. That's pretty accurate, you can go lower than that but it's gonna take much longer so we got the margins we got this and hit scan there's a number of reasons why you would get a probe error at this point it's always best to use a 100 nanofarad capacitor between the leads if you're using an Arduino system like I am and that will prevent any spikes from occurring also uh, my power supply over there is not touching the frame you see the frame is partly metallic and that's really important because I used to get sparks and burn a lot of Arduinos this way so you see it's getting populated here with values <coughs> we've got a few more points to measure now And it always returns to the bottom left corner. We're gonna move the gantry to the center again. And one thing that's important now and that's mandatory is to zero out the z-axis. So we go to probe this time. 
and you need to input the coordinates here that you find up here so let's say 1 and this is minus 6.5 okay and let's get the minus 1 probe feed let's do 10 so we can be really precise now hit probe and now it hit the surface we're at minus 0 0.01 hit z0 z0 over here to reset then in auto level and this is very important you'll get a warning message if you don't do this <coughs> hit zero up here okay now we're ready we're gonna take this alligator clip off move the Z up one and now it's gonna get loud fingers crossed So this is the end result, turned out pretty well. Pretty precise work. I'm not going to remove the case yet because I need to do some drilling. But I'm pretty happy, it's pretty precise. That's basically how you engrave with BCNC and auto level.